For this achievement, please do not follow the description by landing on a vehicle, since that would be a failure immediately. As we can see, the area to not go below is pretty high up, so let's just stick with buildings. Naturally, this only applies to humans. AI can go wherever they want. Apart from that, the achievement hunters must play from the start, and the kill counter is only active after the first human lands. The valid enemies are the ones on the ground, so don't try leaving players on the plane to help raise the kill count. Last bit, there's no restriction on who kills the enemies, so leaving the hard work to the AI and the converts is fine. For the buildings to land on, we have three choices. The first of which is the warehouse. Easy to land on because it's big, but not very good in terms of cover. Just watch out for the big hole if a pallet of money did crash through it. Then we have the diner, which has better cover but also more holes to fall through, especially during combat. Be sure to not climb down the ladder since it's below the required height. And last, we have the car shop. Tricky to land on, but it's the most fun to do so and gives the best cover. If the ladder to the roof is present, it will be a good spot for the AI to snipe from. Same thing applies, don't go downstairs. Now, to land here, we'll jump off from the extreme right end of the plane all the while facing the north-northeast direction with the forward key help. We should land just barely at the corner. Cool, huh? Build-wise, having converts and AI are great. I like giving bots the Moscone as well as using hostage taker and the healer crew boost to keep our health up. For everything else, pick whatever we like. It's possible to even leave all of the killing to the AI and converts if we're feeling lazy. I personally go with body expertise and the KSP-58 build for accuracy and two ammo bags. The 5.7 will be handy in case Winters comes along, though that's online only. With multiplayer, a mix of ammo and medic bags could be good. Otherwise, just make use of custody to do a full reset. All in all, with the right setup, this shouldn't be too difficult. Most likely, the death wish requirement will be the highest barrier for the average player. Two gameplays will be coming right up, one for the diner and the other for the car shop, so hang around. My voice sounds a little strange in today's video because I've just recovered from a sickness, so yep, that's why. So take care of your own health now, and I'll catch you in the next video. Like a million dollar snowflake. Oh, 
the medic. Shield down. Find those fucking bundles, will you? Analysis of trajectory indicates they must be fucking close. Kill the bitch ass shield. 